Hey, my YouTube family. I am so happy to be back in front of you with a video, y'all. I have been just living my life, living for my kids, living for my family, living for myself day to day, just um, keeping my mind on my, you know, the things of God. When I say the things of God, I'm talking about reading my Bible, praise, worship. I'm still working on my meditation. I think that's the area where I really need to work on so that I can really remember those scriptures that God's given me. Um, but other than that, y'all, I've been so busy just working and uh, the kids went back to school. So I've been looking after them and um, I'm just excited today. I'm, I'm thankful today because God has really blessed me, y'all. When I say he has blessed me, he really has blessed me, and I cannot be more thankful. Um, I have been filled up with so many, so many different feelings, um, and I was, you know, my mind was kind of like all over the place, um, and I was like, I'm in a point in my life where I'm like, where is God in all of this? You know, if God is real and God is still here with me, where is he? Well, one thing I do know is that God is real. But I really feel like sometimes we fall so far from God that we have all of this stuff that we have to fight through just to feel the glory of God. And that's where I, I was, you know. Um, one Christian said um, to me one time, he said that sometimes when we fall so far for God, from God, we have all of these different voices that we have to tune out um, before we can actually hear the voice of God and hear what God is saying. And, um, you know, that's basically what was happening for me um you know i i have to remember i have to constantly remind myself that the only reason why i'm here the only reason why i'm free the only reason why i'm able to do what i do is because of god and um i was reading i believe it was um either jeremiah ezekiel um it was one of those books where God was talking about how he was saving um, Jerusalem or Judah. And um, he got angry with them because they kept going after these false gods. And he had already shown them that he was the true and living God, that it was no other gods before him. And that those false gods that they worshipped so much didn't have any power. And... Um, that kind of reminds me of like sin and things like that, because I have to remember that, um, when you do things that, um, are not in the, in line with the word of God or are not in the line with who God is, you end up getting nothing for that. Like you don't get anything for your sins. You don't get anything for trusting other voices besides the God, your God's voice, like anything that's coming up against your faith in God is only to make you end up empty and with nothing. And, um, you know, we have to just remind ourselves constantly that the only power that we have is in God. And if uh, God is not with us, we really have nothing. And um, I was listening to a service, a church service online, and the pastor's uh, saying was, it was a song, matter of fact, it was like, he's been so good. I'm nothing without you. I forget the name of the song, but it basically was saying that we're nothing without God, and that's so true. When I fell, y'all, I just felt like, I was nothing. I was nobody. I had already um, given up 
the best parts of me to this world, you know, and this world will just eat you up and chew you out, you know, that's why he said, don't do things for the accolades of people. Don't do things because you want people to recognize you. You know, you do everything unto God because your God and Father who sees you will reward you in heaven, you know. So, um, the gifts that God has for us is so much better than the gifts of this world. You know, the gifts of this world are beautiful trophies and pieces of papers with our name written on it and that says how hard we work and those papers might get us a good job or might get us some opportunities on this world. But um, if you do everything for just the accolades of people, what are you feeding? What are you going to live off of? What um, insight do you have? What knowledge do you have? What wisdom do you have? What um, power do you have? What When you're all by yourself, um, what's going to keep you going? What's going to keep you um, to look forward to the next day um, besides just someone patting you on the back? You know, I used to think that when I used to see award shows like, oh, you know, they're getting all this the um, people to congratulate them and stuff. But I don't you. It's a power that's behind um living for God, that even if people don't recognize you, or even if people don't give you a trophy or a piece of paper, you still can have something to look forward to. You can still have joy. You can still have peace. You can still have love. So, you know, um, I just said that all to say is that we we can't live without God. Like, we're nothing without God. Even if even if people pat you on the back, sometimes they pat you on the back and you so far from making it or you so, you might be on your last leg right now, you know, and you getting people to pat you on the back and trying to get you to move even further. And you're like, well, look, I'm tired. You know, I, I need some strength. I need um, something inside of me that makes me want to keep going, you know, and Sometimes people and trophies and pieces of papers just won't do it, you know. So um, I just I just thank God just for being the God that he is and helping me. Um, and I just pray that these videos get better. I pray that um, whenever I make any video that is clearly to help someone else and to uplift someone else. And I pray that I, you know... Stay in my word to become better because I know that they say that, um, you know, God gives us the ability to know who he is so that we can tell others about him and how good he is. And um, that's my goal, just to tell people more about God and, and let them know that it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what you've done. Even now, I look back on things and I'm like, why did even why did God even show me mercy? Why did God even do anything for me? Why did God even save me? You know, and I know I could tell you why because of my faith in Him. It had nothing to do with me per se because I fall daily. I make mistakes. I do things. I look back on things like, is that really what a Christian does? And you know, I question my walk with God. And um, God always showed me that it's not about me. It's about him. And he's a, he's a true friend. He, he really is. <clears throat> it makes me want to cry because our friendship these days, it comes with a lot of conditions. But when God says he's going to have your back, He's going to have your back. You could fall so far, and he'll still lift you up in a time of need. He's just waiting on you and me to wake up and be like, I'm not with God right now. I need to get back where with my best friend, my ride or die. So um, I'm just thankful. 
I'm very, very blessed to have God in my life. And like I said, I want other people to know how good he is. So that's why I'm making this video. And hopefully I'll grow more in God because he's done a lot for me. And I just want to be able to share that with y'all. Just to keep hope, keep courage, no matter where you're coming from. Because God can turn your ashes into beauty. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to my video. Hope I see you soon. Bye-bye. Love you. And may you dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.